everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today we are diving into some more viral TikTok DIY projects. Now, if you have no idea what TikTok is, you must be living under a rock because TikTok is the hottest social media platform currently. It is essentially really quick, kind of short form videos. You flip through them, and I personally love it because it takes my mind off of everything. I think because the videos are so quick, I can flip through easily, and it always gives me something new to look at. But I constantly run across really cool and innovative DIY projects. And over the past couple of weeks, I've been saving them on my phone, and I'm finally here today to share with you guys my recreation of four viral TikTok DIY projects, and I also wanna let you guys know if they are a pass or a fail, and kind of put my own spin on them as well. Now, if you have TikTok on your phone and you are not following Lone Fox Home, what are you doing? You have to head over and follow me over on TikTok. It is Lone Fox Home. I'm posting almost every single day on TikTok, you guys. It has been so much fun, and it's just additional content than what you get here on my channel. But before jumping into these TikTok projects, I do want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is BetterHelp. On my channel, I have brought up a couple times with you guys how I struggle with general anxiety, but that was actually all because of a PTSD situation that happened in my life about five years ago that left me with anxiety and chronic, chronic insomnia. I have been dealing with this for around five years, and I've actually gone to multiple therapists, multiple counselors, and BetterHelp is actually one of my favorite things that I have used because I'm able to do it in the comfort of my own home, which I love. They will assess your needs and sign you up with a licensed therapist that you can go ahead and start talking with within 48 hours after signing up. Now, this is not a crisis line or a self-help line. This is actual professional counseling done securely online. And BetterHelp has over 15,000 different therapists, which is incredible, in tons of different areas. So you can actually do this wherever you'd like. And it's open worldwide as well. So wherever you live in the world, you can get help using BetterHelp. You can log into your account at any time and send a message to your counselor and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can also schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. I know I had to do that a lot. So it's nice you can just schedule it and you know exactly at that time slot you are in with your counselor. And BetterHelp is actually more affordable than traditional office counseling, which is amazing, and they offer financial aid. So if you'd like to take advantage of the special offer they are giving my Lone Fox family members, you can go ahead and get 10% off of your first month using the link betterhelp.com slash Lone Fox. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash Lone Fox. Everything will be linked below, but let's go ahead and dive on into our first TikTok project. I'm ready to get DIY. So the first project that I came across was from the user something underscore quaint and I actually just found out that she followed me so I followed her back immediately because her TikToks are so cute you guys and she created one that had this kind of circle base she put a shelf on it she had a couple of hooks to it and it got 498,000 likes so I wanted to go ahead and see how easy this was to recreate put my own little spin on it and share it with you guys so let's dive on into our first project Jumping on in right here, we are going to start off with a wooden circle. This is actually a clock base. I found this at Joann's, perfect for this project, and also some screw hooks. And then out in the garage, I had some scrap one by six, which was perfect as the shelf. So I cut this down to 11 inches wide. You're just gonna wanna cut it down to the widest point on your circle, and then use some wood glue to go ahead and add some glue on the skinnier edge there. I'm going to smear it around and then press it firmly onto the center of our wooden circle and use a couple of clamps just to hold this in place while it dries for about 30 minutes or so. I personally never knew how strong wood glue was and I also did clean up any of the excess with a paper towel there just so it wasn't going to like puddle out. Let that dry for about 30 minutes or so and once it is dry I flipped it over and used just a couple of simple screws to just secure this down a little bit better. It's nice that the wood glue holds this into place. It also is extremely strong but the screw is just an extra reinforcement. I actually took an additional step for my shelf and I ended up staining the wood portion. Now on hers, she originally just left it raw, which I think looks great, especially if you use a lighter paint color on the bottom half. But because I was gonna do a darker paint color, I really wanted to add some more warmth and richness to the wood section. So that is what I did and then used a little bit of masking tape to go ahead and tape around the center point of our entire shelf. So I just added this around all the way onto the backside as well. And then we're gonna mix up a little bit of paint that we're gonna be painting the bottom half. I love the color block effect of this piece. So I started off with a little bit of sage green, added in some more foresty green color, and then added in some black just to deepen it up quite a bit. And this color was super unique. I love the way that it turned out in the dish there, but it also dried so beautifully. So I went ahead, I used a large paintbrush to go ahead and paint the bottom half of our shelf. I actually only had to do one coat of this on the entire piece and make sure to get the front side, the underside of the shelf, all of the edges, also get that back rim there because this was originally a clock base that I flipped over. It does have that kind of carved detail, which is gonna be on the backside. 
side. Now, once that is all dried down, I used a ruler to map out where I wanted my three hooks to go on the front. And using a drill bit, a little bit smaller than your screw hooks, you're going to want to go ahead and drill three pilot holes. This will just make it so much easier when it goes to screwing those in. So once those holes are created, screw in all of your hooks and that finishes off your new wall shelf. confidently say this was such an easy but functional DIY project, so a thousand percent a pass in my books. Now the next project we are going to be creating is a DIY tiled floor mirror and I totally love the tiled furniture trend over on TikTok and I liked this project in particular because it ended up costing me only around $30 to create this floor mirror. I used a simple $17 kind of college mirror from Target, a little bit of tile, some grout and I was good to go. And the account that I am following this tutorial from is Interiors. I'm probably butchering that. I'll put it on the screen for you guys right here. But she created this really cute DIY tile mirror and I wanted to go ahead and see how easy it was to create one for myself. So the mirror we're gonna be using for this project is actually a Target mirror. It was only $17. It is a super affordable back to school floor mirror, essentially it's an over the door mirror. So what I wanted to start off by doing was actually taping off our mirror section and bringing this outside and giving the edges a coat of white spray paint because I knew that the edges were gonna be revealed. They weren't gonna have tile over them. So I wanted to spray those with a coat of white. And back inside, I went ahead and I grabbed my sheets of tile here. These are two by two tiles that make up a 12 by 12 sheet. They are attached with mesh on the backside and I'm going to be cutting them into strips and you're also going to want to ensure to cut off any visible mesh so as you cut this there is going to be some mesh in those grout lines so just cut away any extra mesh because we're going to want nice clean strips to be glued onto our mirror and I actually just used Gorilla Hot glue and it worked so securely for this project you guys no need for like concrete or anything crazy you can even use like a liquid nail or just a strong bond adhesive so I went with my Gorilla Glue hot glue and it worked perfectly around this entire mirror and these tiles were actually a great size. Tile projects can always be a little bit scary to start. That's why I always suggest laying down your tile first without gluing it on to make sure that it fits your piece or the spacing is correct. And then once you have it all kind of cut and arranged, then you can go back and glue it down. That's exactly what I did for this project. So once all my tiles were finally glued around this entire piece and I had all of them in place, of course it was time to grout our piece. Now I ended up using this pre-mixed grout here by Maypie. I believe that's the brand. I also got this at Floor & Decor as well, which is kind of a flooring Superstore almost. And the tool that I'm using here is a spackle spatula, which is not at all what you are supposed to use for putting grout into the cracks. You're supposed to traditionally use like a rubber or silicone float, but I could not find mine anywhere, you guys. I mean, you guys recently saw my apartment tour. If you didn't, definitely check it out. And I shared with you my craft space. As you all know, I have a lot of stuff in that room and the float is currently missing, which is so sad, but I will find it. Do not worry. But this worked totally fine. Used a sponge to get off any excess, just kind of let it dry down for a minute or so, then remove any excess with a damp sponge and that really finishes off your mirror project let it dry and you're good to go I think we all know the answer to this one. Pass or fail, totally a pass for this one. I love this project and I like how it's customizable as well. Now our third project has to be one of the most viral TikToks I have seen when it comes to DIY. I have seen this multiple, multiple times and this one is uploaded by the user Luo Flores. I, Flores, I might be totally butchering that as well. He titled it DIY Jewelry Stand and that is really exactly what it is. But we are gonna be attempting to recreate this project. I don't know how easy this one's going to be. It seems a little bit easy when I look at it but it also seems like it could go really bad really quickly. So let's see how this one goes. For this project, I was actually able to find a lot of the materials I needed at the dollar store, but I actually swapped out the towels for this really fluffy boucle fabric, which I thought would be a fun take on the project and elevate the look of it just a little bit more. So I started off by gluing down my paper towel holder into my pie dish like shown here. Then in my boucle fabric, I'm gonna go ahead and cut about a two inch slit that's going to be able to slide over the top of our paper towel holder. And then we're going to start adhering down the fabric on the inside. This is why it's really great to use a thicker fabric or something that has 
has maybe a bit of fluffiness to it or just a thickness to it. So it really hides any of that paper towel holder like wire metal in the bottom. And I think this did a great job at that. That's probably why he ended up using the towel for his project. So this is where it gets a little challenging. This wasn't my favorite finish of the project and it could just be because this material was so thick, but I had to wrap it around and glue it on the bottom side, but I wasn't really able to get it super flat and nice and just pristine in the end. But I just lived with it and moved on to the paint roller section. So this was also a little bit challenging, you guys. I had to cut holes in these paint rollers, but the thing is, is that the paint roller base is actually constructed of plastic. So that was a little bit challenging to actually go through, but once I got the box cutter through it, it was totally fine. So I slipped my two paint rollers on, and now we are going to start the process of wrapping everything else in our scrap fabric. So the great thing about using a thicker or fluffier fabric is that a lot of your seams are actually hidden because the fluff kind of fills in any seam lines, which is really nice. And this boucle fabric really worked nicely. I was able to cover everything very nice and evenly. I wrapped it around every section, starting off with the paper towel holder first and then covering the actual paint rollers themselves right after. When it came to gluing down on the paint rollers, I just added a generous amount of hot glue and then I pulled my fabric pretty tightly just so I could go ahead and ensure that it was nice and secured around the paint roller, snip off any excess you don't need, add more glue where you do need it, and on the sides, I actually just tucked the excess fabric and glued it on the inside of the holes and that finished off this project. Now you guys, I'm going to call mine a fail and I'm going to call his a pass because his really did look nice in the end. So it's a pass and a fail. It's really about how you actually create the project yourself. And of course I had to save my favorite for last. This one is by Crafts by Fatma and she actually used a pizza pan, some ropes and some juke cording along with some shower rings all from the dollar store and turned it into the cutest tray. I thought this idea was genius, so innovative. Loved this project. It was a little bit time consuming, but for the cost and like the final result, it is totally worth it. So let me share with you guys how I recreated Fatma's tray design. And I had to save my favorite project for last. This has to be one of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks I have ever seen. So we're starting off with a pizza pan and some of this nautical rope, both which was found at the dollar store. And we are going to be spiraling the rope around the entire pizza pan until it is fully covered. So we're essentially using it as the base for our tray. I also did flip it over and I added a strip of rope to the underside lip there. And then I'm also going to be adding one more strip right in between the underside rope that we added and the one that is sitting on top because you can still see the edge of the pizza tray there. So I added just a bead of glue across there and finished it off with a bit of rope. Now comes the very time consuming process, but it is totally worth it. So we're taking our shower curtain rings and we're gonna be wrapping them in jute. Now they offer the jute that is wire lined, which is the one I got. So it has a wire running through the middle of it, which I like because it holds its shape. And once you have all of your circles wrapped, you can start connecting them like I am doing here. So I just went ahead and I wrapped it four times around the center there. Uh, it's gonna flip over, there's the four wraps. And then on the back side, I twisted it together or you can use hot glue to secure it however you'd like to do so. But we are essentially going to be creating a long chain of jute wrapped shower curtain rings, which is going to make the rim of our tray. So once everything is fully connected, you can go ahead and glue it down to your base. I just added a generous amount of hot glue onto every single circle, pressed it down, waited for it to dry, and that finished off your new jute wrapped tray. I did say this is my favorite dollar store hack I've ever seen and it still is a thousand percent a pass in my books. I loved this project. And that, guys, finishes off today's recreation of viral TikTok DIY projects. And I would love to know which one is your personal favorite. So definitely leave a comment below letting me know which project was your favorite. Did you like an original of someone else's more? I'd love to know everything. Leave a comment and give this video a big thumbs up. I absolutely enjoyed creating this for you guys today. And if you are not already, make sure to follow me over on TikTok. I post a bunch of additional content there. It is Lone Fox Home, same as my Instagram if you want to head over there and check that out. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest 
rest of your day. Do not forget to also take advantage of BetterHelp's 10% off your first month for you guys. For Lone Fox family members, you can use the code betterhelp.com slash Lone Fox. Again, that is better, H-E-L-P.com slash Lone Fox, linked at the top of the description box below, and start living a happier life. Mental health is super important, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys in my next video. Have an incredible rest of your day. Bye, guys.